Hi, welcome again to Library Yoga. Uh, if you just joined, my name is Chelsea. I'm a librarian and a yoga instructor here at Brock. And today we're going to take a little bit of some time to breathe, to stretch out, to de-stress a little bit as we make our way back to campus. Uh, we're all back on campus now. So we'll start by coming into a comfortable seated position. You can do this either in a chair. I'm in my office, so I'm going to use my office chair. Um, or if you're comfortable, you can be seated on the ground as well. And most of the practice today will be something you can do either on the ground, in a chair, or even standing. And we'll be standing a little bit through today's practice. So we'll start by coming to the edge of our seats. We'll sit up nice and tall, take the shoulders back, lift up through the crown of the head, and maybe close your eyes for a moment if it feels comfortable to you just to observe how your body is feeling in this moment as it settles into this seated posture. Noticing if there are any areas of tension or tightness, and maybe if there are some subtle shifts you can make to let some of that go. From your body, bring your attention to your breath, noticing how your breath is moving, if it's fast or slow, if it's deep or shallow. And there's no need to change it, just observe how it feels and where you feel it most. And then from your breath, bring your attention to how your mind is moving. Notice if your thoughts are racing around, or maybe there isn't all that much going on right now. It's totally fine, no judgment. Just observe where your mind is going. And then bring your attention gently back to your breath, noticing your inhalations and your exhalations. We're gonna do a few rounds of counted breathing to really center ourselves in the practice. This looks like an inhalation for four counts that I'll count us through, and an exhalation for four counts that I'll count us through, and we'll do this four times. Take a normal breath in and out to prepare. Feel free to keep your eyes closed. And then we'll breathe in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, last round, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, and we'll return to normal breathing. Just observing how your body, your breath, and your mind are feeling after just a few moments of really conscious breath work. This is something you can take with you throughout the day. Whenever things maybe start to feel a little big, maybe a little overwhelming. I know returning to in-person classes, for me, it's a little bit of a change too. It takes some getting used to. And now on our next inhale, we'll take a nice deep breath in, rolling the shoulders up towards the ears. And exhale, drop the shoulders, and we'll start to flutter the eyes open. We're going to start up with the head and the neck, and we're going to work our way down through the whole body, stretching and loosening everything up today. So we'll start just by, with an inhale, taking the nose up towards the ceiling, and exhaling, drawing the nose around to the side, and down, continuing the circle. Inhale as you take it up to the other side, and exhale as you take it down. We'll do a few more in this direction, nice and gentle. I find leading with the nose sort of prevents you from kind of cranking your neck around, which when you've been working maybe on your laptop or punching over some books for a while, it can be a little jarring to the neck. So taking it nice and gentle, leading with the nose. The next time you come up to the top, We'll switch directions. Again, you want to exhale on the way down. 
and inhale on the way up. And really try to focus on the sensation of the movement and your breath together. I find it's often one of the most relaxing elements of yoga is really that conscious attention on the breath. We'll take one more circle. Again, we'll pause at the top and then we'll gently lower the chin back to a neutral position. Awesome. We'll start to roll the shoulders now up and back. Again, try to sync up with your breath here. Inhaling nice and smooth on the way up and exhaling nice and smooth on the way down. Do a few in this direction. And then we'll go ahead and switch directions, taking the shoulders forwards. Again, inhaling on the way up and exhaling on the way down. I find often when we get really busy, as we do at the start of the term, we often lose touch with our breath. So really being aware of it can be immensely useful. We'll take one more, shrugging the shoulders up and forwards, and we'll release. Awesome job. From here, we'll take a nice deep breath in, circle the arms all the way up towards the ceiling. We'll flip the palms up, lifting up, out of the waist, nice and tall. And then on our next exhale, we'll take that right hand down either to the floor or your seat, and we'll arc over towards the side, getting a nice side body stretch here. Now, a few notes. Notice if your left hip starts rocking up in this position. You wanna to try to anchor your hip down here, and that might mean you're not coming quite as far, and that's totally okay. You're also gonna to wanna to notice if your chest starts to round forwards. That's getting the stretch in a bit of a spot that we're not really looking for. So if you find you're trying to stretch, you're trying to stretch and you start rotating down, ease off a little bit so that you can really keep your chest open here. We wanna open things up, become a little lighter, a little looser. That's really the goal. We'll take one more inhale. And then on the exhale, we'll come on up, bring that left hand to your right knee. And then if you're sitting on the floor or in a chair, you want to just bring your right fingertips behind you on your seat. With an inhale, sit up nice and tall. And exhale, leading with the chest, we're going to twist towards the right, taking the gaze back towards the right shoulder. Now, you're not really using your arms to crank yourself into this position here. Much like with the neck, we want to be very gentle as we start this process. As you inhale, think about sitting up taller, and as you exhale, think about twisting a little more towards the right. And this might just be thinking about twisting towards the right. This doesn't mean you're actually going to be twisting a little further. Keeping that as your focus is the goal. This pose can look very different for different people, and that's okay. The goal is to be feeling the same kind of sensation. So you might be twisting a little, you might be twisting a lot, doesn't matter where you're at as long as it feels good. We'll take one more inhale. And then on the exhale, hold the twist, but take your gaze to the front. So it's now your chin is facing your left shoulder. And gently bow your chin down towards your left shoulder. You might feel a big stretch in the back side of your neck, maybe even behind the shoulder blade. We'll take one more inhale. And then exhale, we'll come back to center. Take a moment to just notice how your body feels, maybe a little wrung out in some directions here. And we'll go ahead and work on the other side. So with an inhale, we'll circle the arms all the way up, reach the palms up, lift up out of the waist, and exhale, take that left hand down to your seat or the floor, and bring your right arm overhead, coming into that beautiful side stretch. Noticing again, if your hip is rocking up, try to anchor it down in your seat. Keep your chest rotating open and lengthen nice and long with those fingertips. Breathe here. You can breathe through anything. Maintaining that steady breath is really the secret. We'll take one more deep breath in, and then exhale, reach on up, and bring that right hand across to your left knee. We're gonna circle those left fingertips behind us on our seat with an inhale, sit up nice and tall, and exhale, twist towards the left, taking the gaze back towards the left shoulder. Again, we're leading with the chest here, so notice how your core has to kind of fire. It has to turn on a little here to get you twisting. That's good. And continue to breathe nice and smooth. I'll take one more deep breath in here. 
And then on your exhale, hold the twist, but take your gaze to the front and gently bow your chin down towards your right shoulder. You might feel that stretch now, the other back side of your neck, maybe in behind that left shoulder blade. It's gonna be a very tricky place to stretch, I find. We'll take one more inhale and exhale, we'll unwind, return to center. Wonderful. With a big inhale, we'll reach the arms all the way up. And exhale, we're gonna drape ourselves forwards over our legs here. So if you're sitting in a chair, maybe be cautious if you're on a rolly chair like me so it doesn't go flying out behind you. If you're seated on the floor, keep a nice generous bend in your legs so you're not going to be overdoing the stretch right from the start. Gently fold it forwards. You can allow your hands just to rest on the floor. You're not pulling or straining. Relax your head and your neck. And take two deep breaths into your back body. I find often when we're getting a little caught up in the moment, we're getting a little stressed, we kind of forget how we can breathe most expansively. Often our breath kind of gets caught in our chest. So really breathe into your back ribs here. Feel your back expand as you inhale and sink down as you exhale. Great, we'll take one more. And then exhale and roll in our way up. We'll come back up to seated. From here, we'll reach the arms up one more time, bringing the hands to the back of the head, opening the elbows out wide. This might already be a really big stretch here, so move within your own comfort range here. Inhale, maybe take your gaze up a little bit, fire your core, maybe lift your chest a little bit. And exhale, we're gonna round it forwards, drawing the elbows in towards each other. Inhale, we're gonna open it up. And exhale, we're gonna curl it in. We're gonna do one more in the seated variation of cat cow, opening it up. And exhaling, rounding it in, dropping the arms and rolling the torso all the way back up. Awesome. From here, we're gonna come up to standing. So if you're seated in a chair, you can plant your feet right underneath your knees. We're gonna try to come up without using our hands. If you're wanting to use your hands, you're more than welcome to, of course, but the challenge here will be to rise ourselves up out of the chair with a big inhale, reaching all the way up, and exhaling, circling those arms around and down. Awesome. I'm going to move my chair off to the side here, and I'll encourage you, if you're working with a chair, to keep it nearby just to help you with your balance a little bit for some of these poses, if you like. There's no requirement to be using a chair if you're practicing from the floor and you're making your way up to standing. All the better, you can really test your balance out today, and I find that really helps to develop some focus through the course of the day, testing out some balancing poses. So we've woken up the head, the neck, the shoulders, we've started to stretch out through the torso, now we're gonna get down into the legs a little more. So again, no need for fancy yoga clothes here. I'm wearing dress pants here in the office, and I can still do this little bit of yoga. Holding onto the back of my chair for some support, I'm just gonna start by picking my right knee up off the ground and drawing a circle around and down. And we can try to marry this with the breath again. So inhaling as we take it up and exhaling on the way down. Just drawing some gentle circles, opening up that hip joint. And then we'll reverse the direction. So you can do this standing. This is also a great pose if you're working from the floor. If you're in a tabletop position, you can circle your knee around as well. Awesome, we'll drop that knee down, and now we'll work on the other side. So you can spin to hold on with the other hand, maybe use a wall to support you, or you can go ahead and test. Maybe you don't need any support at all today. Remember, inhale on the way up and exhale on the way down. We'll go ahead and switch directions. And if you're testing out your balance, just know balance really changes from day to day. It's not the same. There are some days I'll do this and I'll totally tip over. Um, and then there are other days where I just seem steady as a rock. Awesome, we'll go ahead and lower that leg down. You can go ahead and shake out your legs a little bit and we have a little impromptu dance party, always welcome. And then we'll go ahead to face the back of our chairs or maybe if there's a wall nearby, you can go ahead and use that even a desk um this is done anywhere any place so if you have these props around they're always welcome facing your prop whatever it is and if you don't have a prop don't worry i've got your back i'll have you covered in just a moment 
We're going to inhale, reach all the way up, nice and tall, and exhale. You can bend the knees a little bit here, lengthening through the spine, bringing your hands to the back of your chair. You can walk your feet back so they're under your hips. Pressing your hands into the back of your chair, maybe into your wall, stretching out, lengthening your back body, and maybe also wiggling out your legs a little, stretching out the backs of your legs. If you'd like a little more, if you have a desk, you can bring your hands to your desk and notice the angle here is a little bit more intense. This is approaching a downward dog shape. You can also use the seat of your chair to do a chair version of downward dog. Or of course, if you're practicing from the floor, this is where downward dog would be really appropriate. You can pedal out your feet. Wherever you are, we're gonna take one more deep breath in and then exhale. We're gonna slowly work our way all the way back up to standing. So if you're in downward dog, you can go ahead and just walk your feet up towards your hands and roll your way up. Awesome. Now from here, from standing, we're gonna inhale one more time, reach all the way up. And exhale, we're gonna fold forwards all the way this time. So you can bend your knees as much as you need to here. Relax through the back body. And then maybe just pedal out your knees a little bit. Notice how when one leg is straight, you get much more of that stretch through the back of the leg. And just alternate from side to side. And then pausing at the bottom, we're gonna lift up just halfway. So you can bring your hands to your shins, you can bring your hands to your thighs, and try to lengthen your spine here, much like we did with our hands on the chair or on the wall. You really want to lengthen, 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 parallel to the floor. But this time you're using those back muscles, those core muscles to support you. This is great for your posture, especially if you have to sit for a long time during the day. Take one more deep breath in, and exhale, we'll lower it down. Now from here, we're going to step the left foot a little bit forward. This might look a little awkward. We're going to take that left foot a little forwards and that right foot a little back. We're coming towards a high lunge position. So depending on the clothes that you're wearing, this might be a very long lunge, this might be a very short lunge. It doesn't matter. We're just going to be moving from this place. You want to have your left knee on top of your left ankle, stretching that back leg out behind you as much as suits your clothing, how your body's feeling today, totally up to you. You want to think about squaring your hips to the front. So all that means is you want to take your left hip back and your right hip forwards. The tendency is going to want to be the other way. So really consciously try to fight that and square it towards the front. And then inhale, bring your arms up overhead. This is a high lunge position. Try to feel really strong and rooted through your legs and really light and buoyant through your upper body. Take one really deep breath in here, breathing down deep into the belly. Inhale, and maybe exhale with a sigh out through the mouth. Awesome. From here, we're going to spin onto that back foot. So the back toes are going to point straight forwards, and your left foot is pointing out towards the side. We're coming towards triangle. Now, if you have a chair or a desk or a wall, you're welcome to use it in this practice. Otherwise, I'll show you where you can put your hand on your leg to support you in this posture. We'll start by reaching our arms out nice and wide. Take a deep breath in, lift the chest a little bit. Maybe lift the corners of the mouth a little bit. Just tripped everyone into smiling, awesome. Take a deep breath in and then exhale. We're gonna reach with those left fingertips as long as you can reach without moving your legs. You're trying to keep them steady. And then bring your left hand maybe to the back of your chair maybe the seat of your chair, or maybe your hand towards your leg, reaching your right arm up towards the sky, triangle pose. Now, if your chest is rotating down, maybe come up a little bit higher here. You can bring your hand up higher on your leg, or maybe hold on to the back of the chair, the wall, whatever option feels best for you. And feel that nice side stretch through that right side of your body, maybe even getting down towards the hip, really making this a full body experience here. Take one more deep breath in and exhale, reach up like you're pulling yourself up out of the pose and circle that arm around and down. Awesome. We're going to move through that on the other side. So you can step back up towards the front 
I'm going to face the other way just to make sure that you can see what we're doing. We're going to start by, from here, we're just going to step that right foot forwards and that left foot back. It's a little easier to transition from standing than it is from that fold. We're going to go ahead and bend that right knee over the right ankle, stretching out that back leg behind us, squaring the hips towards the front. So you're taking that left hip forwards, that right hip back. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. And breathe for a moment. Feel really strong and steady through your legs here. Maybe you're getting a little bit of a hip stretch at the same time. And feel really light and buoyant through the upper body as you breathe. We'll take one more inhale here. And then exhale, we're just gonna spin to the side. We're spinning those left toes forwards now and those right toes are still pointing straight out. You can widen or shorten your stance, this feels good to you here. And then with your hand, or actually before we get there, we're going to reach our arms out to the sides and hinge from the hips, reaching as far as you can. And when you can't reach any farther, that's when you're going to tip down, either bringing your hand to the back of your chair, the seat of your chair, your desk, maybe your leg, as you rotate your chest open to come into triangle. Getting that nice stretch through the legs, through the hips, engaging the core, reaching from your arms. You're really getting a full body experience here. And as you stand in this somewhat awkward shape, wherever you are, breathe. You can breathe through anything. Try to breathe down deep. And then exhale it with a sigh. We'll take one more deep breath in. And exhale, reach on up like you're pulling yourself up out of the pose and circle that arm around and down. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and step the feet together. You can shake it all out a little bit. And we're going to make our way back towards a seated position. So this can be in a chair, it can be on the floor, whatever feels best to you today, whatever's around you today. I'm going to go ahead and sit back in my chair. In our nice seated position here, we'll sit again towards the edge of our seat so we can sit up nice and tall. We'll open our arms up nice and wide, lifting the chest. We've been doing this in a number of postures today. And then circling the right arm underneath the left, we're going to go ahead and give ourselves a great big hug. Yeah, we could all use a hug these days. There's a lot going on. From here, if you're familiar with eagle arms, you are more than welcome to go ahead and lift the backs of your forearms together, maybe wrapping your palms together, but there's no need for you to be doing this. This might feel really nice. We'll start by lifting the elbows up a little bit, lifting the chest a little bit, and then exhale, we're gonna round it down, getting that nice stretch in the upper back around the shoulder blades. Inhale, we'll lift it up. And exhale, we'll release the arms. Right away, we're inhaling, reaching them out nice and wide one more time. Maybe feel that stretch across the tops of the arms. And exhale, this time bring the opposite arm underneath. I think it was the right arm underneath. Maybe it was the other way around. I'm not sure anymore, but whatever it is, it'll feel good. You'll get that extra stretch. Maybe bringing the backs of the arms, maybe the hands together. We'll inhale, lift it up a little higher, take the elbows away, and exhale, round it forwards, getting that stretch, the upper back between the shoulder blades. Inhale, come on up, and exhale, unravel. Awesome. From here, we'll go ahead and get one final stretch in the legs. We're gonna cross the right ankle across the left thigh. You can do this seated in a chair. If you're on the floor, you can lie back and with your left knee bent, you're going to go ahead and cross your ankle over and maybe thread your hands through. But this is a really easy uh, variation to do in a chair, especially if you're working, say, in the library. If you're working at your desk, this is a really handy stretch to have in your arsenal. Flexing your right foot, you want to start by sitting up nice and tall. You might already be feeling a significant stretch through your right hip, through your glute, maybe even into your lower back. And this is perfectly normal. You can stay here. If you're looking for a little bit more, maybe start to lean forwards a little with the chest. Breathe here. Take one more inhale. 
and exhale, we'll come on up. We'll gently release and we'll switch sides. We'll go ahead and cross that left ankle across the right thigh. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. You might already be feeling that stretch. If you'd like a little more, maybe lean forwards just a little. Breathe here. We'll take one more deep breath in. And exhale it with a sigh. We'll come on out. We'll release. And as we close today's practice, we can do this seated. If you have the privacy and the space, you're welcome to lie out on the floor in yoga. That is our frequently the closing posture called Shavasana. So you get to just lie down, relax, let your whole body soften. Today, I'm going to close the practice in a seated position, but the choice is yours. If you're joining me seated, we'll find a posture that's alert but relaxed, sitting up nice and tall, and we'll gently close our eyes like we did at the start of the practice. Bring your attention to how your body feels in this posture. Feel the weight settling down through your feet, your legs, feeling your hips relax down. Relaxing the muscles in your belly and feeling that gentle rise and fall of your breath moving from your belly up through your chest. Feeling this as your shoulders spread wide, your arms and your hands grow heavy and relaxed. unclenching your jaw and relaxing the muscles in your face. Relaxing your eyes, even when they're closed, sometimes they can be straining. And allowing just the trace of a smile onto your lips. Feel your whole body relaxed. and feel your breath. Notice it moving through your whole body. We'll do two rounds of counted breathing to close. We'll take a normal breath in and out to prepare. And then we'll breathe in, two, three, four, out, two, three, Four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. And as you return to normal breathing, just observe how your body is feeling. Notice how your breath is moving. And notice where your thoughts are running off to. Notice how you feel as a whole, your body, your breath, and your mind now, compared to how you felt at the very beginning today. We'll take a nice deep breath in and exhale, gently bow our heads forward in gratitude for the time we've given ourselves here today. We'll slowly open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me for Library Yoga. I hope to see you next time.